Other than that, and especially those of us who like to play harmonica. This is my second video in my harmonica series. So I'm in the new temporary studio for a little bit, and uh, it's a little echoey, but it kind of sounds nice. It's a bit unfinished. We'll see what happens. I wanted to mention that I finished watching Avatar, and uh, I'm currently watching The Wizard of Oz, one of my favorite all-time ever movies. I just love it. Judy Garland, the whole crew, and when I was young, that movie came on once a year, and boy, we just didn't miss it. We loved it. I started playing harmonica when I was about 14, 15 years old, somewhere in there. I'm not sure how it happened, but probably from my mom's records with Bob Dylan. And I graduated from the Bob Dylan, Johnny Cash, Neil Young School of Harmonica Playing. And most of those songs are in major keys. That's how I learned to play. And lots of old gospel songs as well. So I played a lot of that when I was young. And I also had a chromatic harmonica, which I could never figure out. It has a little slider button on there. Stevie Wonder plays that really well. That's how he gets that great sound in his. Now that I understand keys better, I could probably play one these days. But no time for all that. Well, then a few years later, along comes Magic Dick from the Jay Giles Band. And his sound was amazing. It blew me away. It was just way beyond my technique or anything I had thought of. Never thought about even trying. It was that out of my league. But fast forward a couple of few decades later, and I finally got the urge to learn how to do that. But it still remained elusive. Eventually, I figured out enough to ask Mr. Google for a chart on harmonica cross keys. And I came up with something similar to this. This is the one from the Honer website. So I'd like to demonstrate how this works a little bit. Let me first introduce you to my band. This is the Boss Jam Station. This thing is like 20 years old. And you can't get them too much anymore, but it's a band in a box. And uh, I love my jam station, it works really well for me. It's pretty old school, but so am I. And the old school way is to take a microphone and plug it into a guitar amplifier and make it sound really dirty and gritty. So you get this. <laughs> that kind of a sound. Each harmonica can be used for five different keys called positions, or modes. The first position is the straight position, of course. If a song is in C major, of course I play the C harmonica, and blowing out gives me my basic chord. The second position is called cross harp, the cross position. So a C harmonica is good for G blues, which is the fifth tone from C, C, D, E, F, G. This is the Mixolydian mode, for those of you who know your Greek. And sucking in gives me my basic chord. The third position is called the double cross. And it's real easy, it's just the next tone up. So a C harp is good for D minor blues. The fourth position is the natural minor. So a C harp is good for a nice A minor ballad. And the fifth and last position is a strange mode called Phrygian in the ancient Greek. So a C harp is good for a nice, cool E minor rock song. Each harp works the same way, good for five different modes. The second mode, cross harp, is a fifth above the major key. The third mode is a double cross, and it's a second above. The fourth mode is a sixth above, like from C to A minor. And the fifth mode is a third tone above, from C, D to E minor. All right, so let me demonstrate a little bit about how this works. So, okay, off we go. All right, the band's playing in the key of C. Off we go, so I'm gonna blow out. My main tone. We got a nice major. 
your key going there. I'm going to change to the cross harp. So the band switched to the key of G. Now I'm stuck again. Now the band moved to the key of D minor. That sound out of it. Then the band changed to the key of A minor. I'm blowing out first. And then the last one is a nice D e minor. And this one's good for songs like. This one's good for songs like Long Train Running. of each harmonica and I hope you find this information usable. If you want to know more there's a guy on YouTube called Adam Gussow and he has just just tons and tons of instruction and especially tips on how to play well, how to sound really good and uh, Adam I tried to practice your tips but I've developed so many bad habits over my lifetime and I'm sure I sound pretty bad so I apologize for all that. So that's on me and not on you sir. So I wish you all happy harmonica playing and a blessed day. Thanks. Bye now.